Wilson Morales from Black Human TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Good. Really how good. are you? Good. Yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, I was talking to uh, somebody else earlier and telling how this sounds somewhat similar to Pleasant Phil, if you remember that film from way back, <laughs> in which, you know, something happens in the town and their lives it changes. But as I talk to you guys as actors, is this your destiny? And if it's not, what do you guys do when you're not working? Are you fulfilling your destiny when you're not working as actors? Chris? <laughs> When I'm not working as an actor, am I filling my destiny? I don't, I don't believe in destiny at all. So I hope I'm not working too hard to fulfill it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're filling your destiny as a mom, oh, as a wife, oh, as a gosh. I can't That's try right. to make you I am a good mom and a good wife. <laughs> as a dad and a husband. But they're just roles. Yeah. I don't know if I was supposed to do them. I, I tried my best. <laughs> what about you, Gabrielle? <laughs> Um, well, this has been a dream of mine for so long. It just kind of feels like that I am, but I, I can guarantee you if a card or a machine or, a, uh, I don't know, a future, sto future storyteller or whoever just came out of the blue and was like, nope, you're on the wrong path, that would rock my world for sure. Um, but I, I feel like maybe not my destiny, but what I set out to do, I feel like I've been um, happy with the results. <laughs> now I've watched you guys in different projects, whether it's movies or TV shows and so forth. What went to saying yes to taking on this project? You know, was it the script, the role, the time when you can do it, Chris? I mean, little bits of everything. I I, I found the the concept in the book very engaging. The idea that we can all be led by some positive affirmation in a certain area is something that I found. Uh, I'd love to see a show about that on a kind of a. A big idea in a small town is, is really up my street. So I was definitely brought in by all of that, Wilson. Yeah, I think, I think same. I mean, the script spoke to me. It was, I love something that makes me laugh and think. Um, and it's magical in so many ways. So um, I feel like it was going to be like a universal, you know, awakening with people. And um, a lot of people would just kind of be able to relate to it. So when you read the script and you say you can relate to it, is there any part of the character that you feel is you? Well, Cass, Cass is very adventurous, like me. Like, um, she likes to explore. Um, she dims her light a little bit. I've, I've been accused of doing that sometimes. But when you grow up with a mother like Izzy, I mean, you, you live in the shadows. <laughs> so um, the fact that she's explored all these different dreams that she's had and desires, and she has this closet full of like all these kind of failed, sad little boxes of things that she's attempted in her life, um, I would say we're similar in that we like to explore a variety of things. Um, and she has an explorer spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to see you guys doing work. It's good to talk to you guys, Chris. I enjoyed your motor skills. <laughs> you know, let's keep it up. Oh, the scooter let's action. Yeah, bring it, baby. <laughs> you know, so we'll talk down the road. Take care. Thank yourself. you so much. Thank you. Well, some morale from Black Human TV. Hey, David, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. You know, as I watch enough episodes to get an idea as to where we're going with this, one of the things that uh, I thought about in a roundabout way was Pleasantville. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You know, uh, how the lives of others are changed because of a machine and, you know, whether or not they choose to change their lives. So when you read this book, reading a book is one thing, but how often are you reading a book and then thinking that you can make it into a series? I mean, I uh, this one in particular, I immediately thought there was potential for a TV series because it has this great premise of what if there was a machine in your small town that could tell you your life's potential for the price of two dollars and for a series there's so many different ways to explore that question through different characters so that was really exciting and um yeah there is a slight comparison to pleasantville because it's about a town that's changed by this new element and you know pleasantville goes from black and white to color and in the big door prize, this machine arrives and it's blue. And it's like, there's no blue in this town before. And then suddenly there's blue everywhere, these blue envelopes and blue butterfly images. Uh, and you see how it takes over this town. <laughs> it's funny enough, good enough that you've seen that movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and then funny enough, funny enough, you go $2. Who has two dollars and quarters in their hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Johnson, the store owner, has to keep a lot of quarters in his cash, re cash register. You know, and then just the concept, obviously, of people's change. You know, and you know, when I get to talk to the actors, that's a question you can bring up. It's like, 
if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? You know, what was your first? No one grows up to be an actor. It comes up, come, it comes on some at some point in their lives. You know, if you didn't do what you do now, ask you ask us, so what would you be doing when you're not working? What is it you're doing to fulfill your life? Well, I mean, the lucky thing for me is that I have been writing since I was a kid, and it's not just a job for me; it's just something I love. Um, and I think it's an interesting question of you know, do we actually choose the things that we do or are we just innately meant to do certain things? That's one of the the things we explore in the series of, um, you know, what if you were told that you could be something else, but you hadn't made that choice? Do you just knowing your potential doesn't necessarily mean that's the path to happiness. Um, So, uh, you know, uh, for me, writing makes me happy and I'm lucky enough to be doing it in a professional way. The thing I ask a lot of people is, you know, whether it's the creator, EP, or the actors in the show, there's a glut of programs nowadays. You know, since the pandemic, we now have a crazy amount of streaming services combined with network and cable. And if you choose to go to the movie theaters, what's going to get an audience to watch this? Because we have an option. Just last week when the Oscars were on, you had a lot of first run episodes. No one was playing repeats (laughs) like you did back in the day. You know, they're like, we're going to go for it. We all have an audience. Yeah, there's a lot of content out there. Um, But with this show, you know, we just wanted to create something completely different from everything else. It's this very unusual blend of comedy, drama, magic, and mystery. And uh, it it felt unique to me when I read the book. And we hope that this series is unique from everything else. Is there a challenge when you're trying to, if this is a drama, you know, where there's drama and there's comedy, but the comedy doesn't come in so often, you know, it's, bits and bits in there, you just got to look for it. You know, when you work with your writing team, you know, are you looking to see how you can inject humor into this? Yeah, I mean, we I try to let the humor arise naturally. It's character driven humor. So, you know, there there aren't jokes that we're writing that we're putting into the mouths of characters. It needs to feel like things people would really say in real life and, the, and that the laughs are relatable because you recognize something of yourself in that character. So that's a way to keep it grounded so that we can have these really funny scenes, but then still these more heartfelt moments. Well, congratulations on another series. Keep it going. Let's see where it goes and we'll talk down the road. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care.